everybody, welcome back to another episode of Card Talk, a podcast where we spend a little bit of time talking about cards from Lord of the Rings, the card game. And I'm your host, Dave Walsh. And I'm Grant Thompson, just along for the ride. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the Athelian Archer. He's a lore ally from the encounter at Amon Din, and he's three cost. He's got one willpower, two attack strength, and one defense strength with two hit points. He's a ranged character, and as soon as you attack with him um, and damage an enemy, that enemy returns to the staging area. And so he's also got the Gondor and Ranger traits. So this guy is loaded with all sorts of neat things to talk about. Um, but I'll let Grant, my co-host here, take it at the beginning here, Grant. So what do you think of the Athelian Archer? In all honesty, I haven't really played with the Athelian Archer. He's always been there in, I'd like to say, in the binder, but I don't actually own this pack. <laughs> but, um, in no, the digital binder, we can I, say. <laughs> Yeah, on the digital binder, he's always been in there. And his ability was something that really didn't, I didn't like, because obviously after he damages an enemy, you can return that enemy to the staging area. And yes, I know it's a response, but it just like, well, why are you you're putting it back up into the staging area so that he's going to have it engage with you again next turn? It was just something that I didn't really care much for. Um, I like his attack strength of two. I think that's fitting of an Archer of Athelion. Um, he's got two hit points, one defense, one willpower. He's three costs, which is kind of expensive for what you're getting but not overly expensive i suppose you could team this with say haldia of lorien or dunhia so that you have the re- the ithilian Ar- archer attack bouncing an enemy up into the staging area then having dunhia finish it off i suppose that's one way you could do it but or even if you're just bouncing an enemy up to get it into a trap i could understand that because trap decks are um, quite tricky, tricksy at times to get um, working properly. Um, but like I say, I've not really used them. Well, I've definitely never used his ability because <laughs> of the fact that I'm generally killing enemies before wanting to, and certainly not wanting to bounce them back to the staging area unless I'm running my Dunhia Duck Shoot deck. In which case, I've got faster to bounce the enemies back after he's defended for us. But no, not one that I can say I've used a whole lot. <laughs> How about yourself, David? Um, well, I've actually used the Athelian Archer in exactly what you said, the trap deck. Um, like you said, trap decks can be tricksy to get going, but um, the, the thing about the traps is that. You know, they go into the staging area unattached. No matter how many, um, no matter how many enemies are in the staging area, you always put the trap in unattached. And so that means in order to trap any enemies, they have to either be revealed from the encounter deck or they have to be put back into the staging area for the trap to work. Now, the other thing about traps is you can you should you have like seven traps out there and if as soon as one card comes out all seven of those traps go onto the one onto the one uh, enemy so this is a way for me to be able to put a trap out and then use the Athelian archer to trap and have several enemies in the trap or in a trap like the Athelian Pit or the um, Ranger Spikes or whatever trap you want to talk about. The problem comes in with Athelian Archer is that his attack is usually just not high enough really to to damage the enemy. That you have to actually damage the enemy in order for in order for his ability to go off. So usually Athelian Archer is used is used to in trap decks is used to, you know, damage something just with one point of damage that has one attack or one defense, which there's a bunch of enemies with one defense, but then send it back to the staging area to um, hit a trap. 
having said that, that's a very niche use for a card. So with ignoring um, his ability, I think that the card itself is pretty neat um, because it does give you that um, it does give you that ranged characteristic, um, which is good. There's not there's not a huge number of of allies with ranged, um, but there's a there's a ton. So a Thillian archer doesn't have to have to be a must include with ranged. Um, but I think everything adds up in terms of his attributes plus his hit points add up to half of his uh, half of that adds up to his, his cost, and that's and that's legit. Um, and and he's a Gondor um, character, so if you're building a Gondor deck, that helps. Um, despite what his um, despite his ability. Now I do agree with you wholeheartedly that in, in most decks you want to get threat out of the staging area, so you don't want to continually put it back into the staging area. Um, and so that's always um, a real thing to think about is like, do I really want to put something back into the staging area? So I think that the Athelian Archer is a good card um, a good ally, despite its ability, and in the right deck, the Athelian Archer can be a an even better card. It's not, it's not. Spoiler alert: I'm not going to rate it a one ring. Like it's not, it's not awesome, but it definitely helps um, get the mechanic of the trap of a trap deck going with with getting cards in and out of the staging area. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, right, I've just done a quick search on looking at cards with range. And I'd rather pay one extra resource and get Haldia of Lorien, who is probably better in all ways than what the Athelian Archer is out for just one extra resource. Because obviously his stats are two across the board with four hit points, whereas the Athelian sorry, with three hit points, with ranged and sentinel, rather than yeah, the, the Athelian Archer, who has less stats, you know what I mean? You yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. You can attack and defend with him. For one and, more, you can get so yeah. much more with Haldir. Yeah. So it's like, well, I'd rather go with Haldir over that. <laughs> it's like, do you go for Prime Cut or um, Fatty Bristle? Right. <laughs> Well, you could put both of them in a deck. Like if you're, if you're, well, yeah, yes, you could have them both in your deck, especially if you're running multiple low heroes. But personally, for me, I'd just stick with Haldia over the Archer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than the fact that his card art looks mint for the Archer, he's just strung a bow and ready to fire. It's just I can't say that I liked using him when I did. He doesn't have enough force behind him yeah i i actually think he's he's pretty good in especially in trap decks you know he yeah, helps get trap that trap decks, i can i can see he's worth in trap decks like i said at the beginning grant if you were going to ring this guy one being the best card to rule them all and 10 rings being the worst card on the face of the planet uh what would you give the athelian archer well, I think I'm going to give him the lowest rating so far at a nine. Oh, wow! I, other than the, the only redeeming factor about this card is that he has range. <laughs> but then again, I don't run trap decks, so right. I might find in the future if I ever do build a trap deck that I might actually use them. But at the moment, that's not the case. So, David, how about you? Well, I like him a little bit better than that. Um, I like that he's ranged. I like that he's balanced in terms of his cost versus his attributes plus hit points. Um, and I do like returning enemies to the staging area in a trap deck. And every once in a while, you may have a reason to return an enemy to, to the staging area. Not usually, but sometimes. Um, so to have that a little bit of manipulation is helpful. Um, so again, I was kind of 
back and forth. He's not an auto include by any stretch of the imagination for any of my for any of my decks, but I have run trap decks, um, and he plays a part in those trap decks. So I think I'm going to have to give him um, a six uh, for that for what he does. Um, and that he's ranged. I just think he's a good ally kind of overall. So if you wouldn't mind joining us next time for Dunhia, the spirit hero from the core set. Have a great day, everybody.